Hey guys, finally warming up out here, but there's damn ice everywhere busting my butt. Um, I've been asked this question a few times. Um, in a SHTF situation, what animals am I going to go after and why? Um, now a lot of people I've, you know, seen videos they talk about going after deer and you know the elk and moose the big animals and stuff like that and um, in a shtf situation that don't make sense you know eventually you go after those type of animals but you're going to have to have a way to preserve all that meat you know if you get a, a deer or moose or an elk or a bear or a pig you got to know how to smoke it preserve it and I have a way to store it store it um, me I say in the first six months to possibly a year in a SHTF situation I'm going to rely on my food preps but I'm also going to trap I, I, I'm not going to hunt because I do not want to draw attention to myself by firing a weapon um, even bow hunting you know you don't hit the animal right it's going to run and who's to say they could be somebody 50 or 60 or 100 yards away and that deer runs right into them and you're chasing it you're going to have a confrontation with them because they're going to say that's my deer you know it, it, it could turn bad but I'm going to trap, and what I'm going to trap is, like, I'm going to keep mine mainly to the water. You know, like muskrat, mink, beaver, otter. You get a lot of, lot of food off of a beaver. Um, you know, raccoons, groundhogs, uh, squirrels and rabbits, you know, stuff like that. Just, and fish, you know, I'm going to fish, set my fish traps out and stuff. Um, because a lot of people are going to, you know, be in the woods hunting and stuff like that. And they're not really going to take time to go around water because a lot of people don't think you can get any, any animals by the water you know they're going to be out in the middle of the mountains or the forest hunting deer and bear and pig and whatever else you know snake is another thing you can live off of turtles you got to be real careful with turtle you got to cook a turtle good frogs i mean they're just so much you know you can get around a water source but that could be a double-edged sword as well because you're around a water source and people are going to come and if they need water you know they could set up a, a camp by a, the water that you're trapping so there there's a lot of pros and cons to it but that's what I'm going to do um, and I'm basing you know the traps I buy you know like 110s 150s 160s um, i'm getting some bigger traps you know some more 220s uh, 330s 280s I, i've been watching a lot of videos and a lot of people use 280s because they're a quicker fire trap than a 330 for otter um you know otter and beaver and muskrat their fur you know, you tan that out, you get a lot of, you get, you get warm fur that you can make hats, make uh, mittens. You know, you make a lot of clothing out of that. It, it's, you know, it's going to keep you warm. Um, you know, I will um, go after like coyotes and fox, you know, for their hide and stuff. Um I didn't know you could eat coyote until I saw like Dave Canterbury and a couple other ones. You just eat the um, the hind quarters. You don't get around the guts or anything like that. I don't know about that. That'd be that's that'd be kind of 
I had to be awful damn hungry to eat a, a coyote's leg or something like that. But, you know, in an SHTF situation, it might come down to that. Um, you know, people who's in the city, you could trap in the city. You just got to be careful. You know, you get a lot of, um, a lot of raccoons, a lot of squirrels, a lot of rats. And, um, you know, there's a lot of food running around in the city. You know, if it comes down to it, cats and dogs, you know, from starving to death. But um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go after mainly what's around the water. Because a lot of people won't come around the water to hunt or trap or anything like that. Because let's face it, most city people don't have a clue about trapping. You know, you take a hundred people that's lived in the city all their life. They might be three that knows how to trap. If that. Um, you know, so I, I'm not worried about that. And I kind of live out of ways. You know, the people around here. I say a quarter of them might hunt and trap, the rest of them don't. You know, they're not that, they're not that type. You know, they, they're city people who's living out in the country, I guess. But, um, you know, that's why I, I'm talking about trapping and stuff like that. Um, I was asked why I don't do trapping videos. I would love to. I got to get a better camera, number one, because I'm just using my phone. So I have to get a camera to do that. And number two, this year I didn't get my trapping license and because the fur prices are not there. I'm not going to go trap muskrat for a dollar a hide or beaver for like $6 a hide or coons for like $4. I I'm not going to do that. There's That's... I, I'm not going to do that. And you can't save them back for the following year because if you don't tan them, the fur start falling off. Um, so, And I don't want to put a trapping video out there and, and set a trap up and catch something then get busted by the, the gang warden here and have to pay a damn $5,000 fine or something like that. But that's why I haven't said any, you know, done any trapping videos or anything like that, because I don't have my license. You know, um, I'm thinking about, you know, the the season ends February 28th, the end of February. I don't think it's a leap year this year, so it'll be the 28th. Um, but I'm going to get my trapping license in March because here in the state of Tennessee, you can trap beaver all year round because they're a nuisance animal so you can trap beaver all year round so i'm going to start when i get my license i will make some videos of trapping beaver and stuff like that sorry the phone's um shaking it's cold out here it was nice but that temperature's starting to drop again i had to take the dog out crazy ass dog he's over there looking for birds but um I just want to answer that question. You know, um, I'm going to, like I said, the animals I'm going to stick to are smaller. Yeah, I'll have to get a, a lot of them. But, um, like I said, muskrat, beaver, um, mink, groundhog, raccoon, um, squirrels, rabbits, you know, stuff like that. I'm definitely, that's going to be my main source of meat for a while. Don't chase those birds. Run out in a row, dumbass. But um, then, you know, stick to fishing and snakes and turtles and, and um, frogs, you know. Then after a while, after everything settles down and the woods clears out, then I'll go after the deer, the bear, the pigs, stuff like that. You know, you know, turkeys, you know, 
there's a, we got a lot of turkey around here. You know, I might bow hunt for them because they don't run. You know, you hit them pretty good. They're they're going to drop right there. But um, other than that, you know, I'm going to kind of lay low and just let my traps and my fishing lines, you know, do the work for for me so I don't have to be out there bringing a lot of attention to myself. But, um, you know, that's, I hope that answers the question and the reason why uh, I didn't mean to make this video long. But um, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to get inside. The crazy dog, I guess, is done. Huh. Come here. No, come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hold up. Uh, this one right here, he's worse than the kids sometimes. He listens a lot better, huh? Huh? Where's that? Listen. Listen. Where'd he go? Skip. 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 He's going to make a good hunting dog. But anyway, guys, I hope I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it answered your guys' question. And um, everybody, be safe. If you got any questions, leave them down below. Got any comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now, guys.